Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to react to 10 secret device tactics that are insane. I know they are supposed to, pro to protect the president, but I don't know much about them. I have been living in the US for three years now. I is going to be my fourth soon and I got my citizenship. Yeah, which is crazy, crazy good. But yeah, let's see what they are about. I don't know much about them. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you see next and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. It takes a lot to protect the president of the United States. Here are 10 secret service tactics that are insane. Number 10, Ink Library. The Secret Service has the world's largest collection of ink. The Secret Service works in conjunction with ink manufacturers, where they have a massive database of tags in the ink. These tags allow Secret Service agents to narrow down the brand of any type of ink. They can also trace where that brand is sold in the country. So should the president receive a threatening letter, oh, they can trace okay. to an extent okay. where that letter may have originated from. Wow. They also have a team of handwriting experts that inspect the handwriting of any letter that has a threatening word in it. Wow. Number nine, protective intelligence. Damn. The president is the target of many online comments. Some of these comments suggest a threat to him but are likely not serious. However, every single threat is investigated by a team of Secret Service agents. When someone posts anything about wanting to cause the president any kind of harm, even if it's only in jest, every single aspect of that person's life is investigated. Every Friends, wow. employees, neighbors could all be interviewed. This is known as protective intelligence, and it is conducted to deem the seriousness of the threat. After an investigation is done, the agents will determine whether or not the person in question should simply be warned, should be submitted for a psychiatric evaluation, or should be convicted of a Class E felony. What is a Class E felony? Is it those are only applied to the president or anytime you make a threat about someone online, does it apply to you or only about the president? Let's go back to the ink. That's crazy. If you write something like a letter, they can trace it back to a specific country or a spe specific city i didn't know that man i didn't know that inks could be traced i didn't know that number eight agents are trained to spot guns impromptu presidential greetings are a nightmare for secret service agents dealing with large crowds poses a threat for them as they can't know what someone in the crowd might do as such secret service agents i got a question isn't there like somewhere like a security check you have to go through before you come to this gathering where they have to check you if you have arms? Because if there's no security post, what makes you know that there isn't somebody there who's trying to kill the president or do something? Agents are highly trained to look for weaponry within a crowd. They scan for people who have their hands stuffed in their pockets, for people wearing baggy clothing, and even for people who seem to be moving stiffly on one side of their body because they might be concealing a weapon. The Secret Service is famous for their dark sunglasses, but those shades aren't just to shield their eyes from the sun's rays. Mm -hmm. They wear dark glasses so they can hide their eyes while scanning the crowd. This way, any potential suspects are not alerted to the fact that they are being watched. Wow. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Daily Top 10s with notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 7. Water Rescue Detail One of the many perks of being the president is a lifetime of protection. Even after his presidency, oh. the president is promised protection wherever he goes. Now, a lot of retired presidents seek R&R in tropical places where swimming and water sports abound. Okay. But to ensure the president remains safe, a specific group of Secret Service agents are put on water rescue detail. Wait, so every past American president is protected for life and is that on his account or on the government account? That's amazing, man. Imagine even after after you leave the presidents for 10, 15 years later, if you look at Bill Clinton, he hasn't been president for what? Almost 20 years. And he's still protected by the Secret Service. These agents accompany any president, whether active or not, to any place that has water. They are highly trained in any and all of the dangers that water poses. Okay. Number six, cat. Wait a minute. Has there been uh, uh, an instinct 
where somebody tried to kidnap a, a, an ex-president or tried to kill an ex-president, is it why they are protected for life or it's just a precaution? Nothing like that happened before. Let me know in the comments. Cat agents. Cat agents are the Secret Service's most elite and highly trained agents. Okay. They carry SR-16 carbines with them, which are very powerful rifles. The process to become a CAT agent is extremely grueling. When someone is selected, they must first undergo a week of preschool. If they make it through that, they graduate to an intensive six-week training camp. Wow. CAT agents are required to run a mile and a half in nine minutes, to wear a 45-pound vest, and to be highly skilled with weaponry. They must also be very intelligent. During their training, they go through arduous stress tests, and most applicants drop out. Their job is to provide cover for the president if he is under attack. They are trained to engage in direct assault combat to give other agents time to get the president to safety. Wow. Number five, the president's motor pool. The president's main mode of transportation is aptly named the Beast. The it beast, is a customized huh? Cadillac limousine that has over seven tons of armor. <laughs> the armor is up to eight inches thick in places and can withstand high caliber gunfire or even an explosive device. Even but the pilots? protection doesn't stop there, as the beast is never alone. The president's motor pool consists of a whole line of vehicles, including a discreet black van that holds the counter assault team, otherwise known as the C 80. In total, there are a dozen vehicles in the president's motor pool, and each vehicle costs over a million dollars. Number four, wow. food screening. When presidential chefs are preparing food for the president, they are under strict scrutiny by Secret Service agents. Okay. Every single one of their movements is monitored to ensure that they are not poisoning the president. Damn. White House chefs are never alone in the kitchen. Furthermore, when the president travels, Navy stewards travel along with him and personally prepare his food. The Wait, so if the American president go to a country, that means he's not going to eat from the country's food. He's going to eat the American prepared food. What about if he has, let's say, a meeting with another president? Do they each eat from their own country or do they all eat from the American food? I don't get that. President does not eat any food that has been gifted to him. And well, although he sometimes orders food while out and about, he only does it for a photo op as he never eats anything he orders from a restaurant. Wow. Number three, Sistema Russian Combat. It's expected that Secret Service agents would be highly trained in weaponry and combat. They are, after all, protecting the president. But some Secret Service agents are more highly trained than others. Some are trained in a Russian martial art called Sistema. Sistema stands for the system, and it was originally used by military personnel like the KGB and Spetsnaz. It is unlike any other martial art. This is kind of surprising. American, the American Secret Service using some Russian training to protect the president. That's surprising to me because I know America and Russia are like this. It is known for its brutality and its anything goes mentality. Sistema involves controlling the attacker's levers, arms, legs, and elbows. It also involves defending against weapons and weapon disarmament. People trained in Sistema are trained to deal with multiple attackers at the same time. They are also trained to remain very calm while under attack. Sistema is not just a combat tactic, it's a way of life. And people who are trained in this uncommon martial art are expected to live the virtue of the martial art. I got a question, can you do that training without being a secret service agent just because you want to protect yourself or something like that? Can you go through the training or you can't? And although someone practicing Sistema appears calm and completely in control, don't let the calmness fool you. Sistema is a highly dangerous martial arts style. Secret Service agents trained in Sistema can easily kill an attacker, although their goal is to disarm, not kill. Number two, Advanced Secret Service Team. Every single place that the president goes is first scouted out by the Advanced Secret Service Team. This team arrives before the president to do a thorough check of the entire area that the president is visiting. Hold on before. For example, if he is visiting a school, the team arrives first and inspects every corner of the school, including the bathroom stalls and inside the classroom cupboards. 
They will even go to nearby hospitals to obtain a list of anyone in the area that has been recently treated for mental illness and released. They literally leave no stone unturned in their preemptive search of the area. They take over entire hotels. When the president travels, his entourage of Secret Service agents travel with him. But whenever he stays in a hotel, his Secret Service agents conduct a background check on any of the hotel employees that might be in contact with the president during his stay. If any... What about the resident? Do they also conduct a background check on the residents or only on the employees? employee has any sort of criminal record, then that employee is asked to stay home from work during the president's visit. Do they get paid though? The team also completely takes over the entire floor the president is staying on, as well as the floor above and below. Okay. And they take over elevators for their own personal use, even going as far as to hire an elevator repairman to stay on standby should anything go wrong with the elevator. Wow. Number one, 10 minute medicine. If the president is attacked or suffers any kind of medical emergency, there is protocol in place to increase his chances of survival. A select number of special Secret Service agents are assigned to the Presidential Protection Division, otherwise known as the PPD. These selective agents have the responsibility of protecting the lives of the Commander-in-Chief and his family. As such, they are trained in something called 10-Minute Medicine. 10-minute medicine involves doing everything in their power to keep the president alive until he can get help from other medical professionals. Now, this might sound reasonable because the president is very important. However, the concept of 10-minute medicine in this case involves some pretty insane protocol. For example, every time the president travels, the PPD know exactly where the nearest medical facility is within a 10-minute radius, and they even have an agent mm. stationed at that facility. Mm. This agent is responsible for becoming familiar with all the doctors and nurses on shift. Okay. The PPD is also responsible for ensuring that there are bags of blood in the president's car, which match the president's blood type, just in case an emergency transfusion is needed. The PPD's training in 10-minute medicine proved useful when they saved President Reagan's life during the 1981 assassination attempt. Oh. However, it seems like a lot of time and energy to prepare for something that like- Wait a minute, did they catch the killer? Did, or, did they catch the guy who tried to, or woman who tried to kill the president? I didn't know about that. It will never happen, which is why the PPD's 10 minute medicine and all the protocol involved has earned the top spot on this list of 10 secret service tactics that are insane. Wow, man. I like this channel, man. What's it called? Daily Top 10. Okay. I'm gonna get more videos from you guys. Let me subscribe now. You guys will subscribe to them. They give some pretty good information. I didn't know most of this. My question is like, when the president travel, how long before the president get there do the secret advice go and inspect all the places and all of that? How long does it take? And how long in advance does the president know and that he's going to travel? And if that takes all this time to go know the people, inspect the, 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 the environment and do all of that, how 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 many times do the president travel per year? Because that's a lot of lot of lot of things to do. But yeah, that was an interesting video. I've learned a lot. Now I know that the movies that I've watched, White House Fallen or Olympus has fallen. I know all those movies are BS. But yeah, that was an interesting video. If you're still here, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content. Comment or just the next and subscribe to the channel for more content. And thank you for the support. Until next time, peace out.